Hello everyone. Have you ever visited an online store or a physical store for that matter and realized that there are so many similar options for you to choose from? And here it will be a tedious process for you to go through each and every character of these items and find out the best suiting item for you. So this problem is synonymous for an API developer portal as well. With the large number of APIs available in a developer portal, it will be tedious for an API consumer to find the exactly fitting API for their use case. So in today's screencast, we are going to discuss about this problem further and also go through one of the solutions we have implemented to combat this issue, which is the API Marketplace Assistant feature. In today's screencast, we are going to talk about how AI-based search can help a developer portal and its visibility of the APIs it consists of. We'll also be going through the API Marketplace Assistant feature that we have developed for 4.3.0 version. My name is Arshad Iftika, a technical lead of the API Manager product team. First of all, let's go through what's an API Marketplace. An API Marketplace is an online platform that facilitates the discovery, distribution and monetization of APIs. They are by connecting the API providers with the developers. Let's go through some of the main components of an API developer portal or a marketplace. They can be the API discovery, documentation, monetization, authentication and access control, analytics and reporting, support and community, and lastly integration tools. So here, as you can see, discovery is a very important part of an API marketplace. Effective API discovery can be very important for both API consumers and API providers. It accelerates development and also it prevents redundancy, ensuring compatibility with diverse systems. Also, it leads the way to develop innovative applications that use the specific APIs that suits them. Effective API discovery can benefit API consumers and application developers by delivering the right API that suits their use case. The API developers will no longer need to spend much time on domain-specific information, but rather can use their valuable time to work on improving API capabilities instead. And also API product managers will benefit a lot because their APIs are now much more reachable to wide audiences. Now let's go through how AI can be leveraged to solve this problem. With the popularity of AI and the emergence of large language models coming into our day-to-day -day use cases, and also its surrounding technologies such as vector searchers uh, can be used for uh, technologies such as RAG, uh, Retail Augmented Generation. So this allows us to reduce the search times to find the right API and also increase the visibility and the findability of a specific API which improves developer productivity ultimately. Now let's go through how we deliver this through our API manager. So for this de demo, I will be using the WSO2 API manager version 4.3.0, which was released recently. You can download it using this link. So here, one, if you search Marketplace Assistant Getting Started Guide, we'll be assisting you to get started with this feature and try it out. So, as mentioned here, we will need a WSO2 API Manager deployment in your local machine. And also, you will have to get a new key from Corio. This is because all the AI related backend services are deployed in Corio and offered for free for a certain period of time. Let me quickly go through how you can get a key from Corio. First of all, you will need to visit, the, visit this link mentioned here, console.corio.dev. Once this is loaded, you can see that you are offered to login. So here I am going to continue with login with Google. Once you are successfully logged in, you will see this UI which asks for an organization name. So here you can give your own name to uh, say uh, something like Once I have provided this unique organization name, 
I can create a new organization in Korea. Once the organization creation is done, you will be prompted to select a region. So here I'm going to give US. So once this is done, you can now go into a settings and under on-prem keys, now you can generate a new key. So once you generate a key here, you can give a, gener a key name to see whether uh, here I'm going to say dev to tell that this is my dev environment. And once I generate, now I get this unique key. So as you can see, now it shows that you have this key generated which can be used to apply to the configurations of the API manager and connect with Corica. So moving on to the next part, as you can see, I have my uh, API manager 430 setup already uh, unzipped in my local machine. And here I am first going to modify my configurations. So the configurations can be found under repository conf slash deployment terminal. If I scroll downwards, I get this area where I can configure apim.ai configurations. So here I can provide the new token that I generated. And also here you need to fill up the endpoint that we have mentioned in our documentation. So I have given these uh, details here and uh, an exit and start up the server. Since the API manager started up successfully, let's go into the developer portal to see what are the APIs we are working with. So, on the API manager developer portal, as you can see, we have two different APIs I have deployed here. So, just to make it a bit more tricky for our AI, we have two similar, similar looking APIs that have different functionalities. We have an API called Pizza Shack API and another one called Pizza Cone API. So let's see what's the Pizza Shack API capable of. So here if you go to the API console, you can see you can order and see menus and uh, retrieve and delete uh, order relevant information. And in the other hand, the pizza cone API is a simple API which only gives a set of pizza recipes uh, depending on uh, what the user wants and also it allows to search and uh, uh, get information about pizza types. So now let's put it to the test. So we have this button here in the bottom right hand side. If you click here, you can interact with our marketplace assistant interface so here what i'm going to type first is that i'm going to tell my use case so here it can be uh, i am developing a pizza so this is basically the use case i'm trying to explain to the ai to say that i am trying to develop an application to serve pizza ordering uh, use cases and I am asking the AI to recommend me an API so tell that yeah so here the AI recommends me the Pizza Shack API because this is the most suitable one for a scenario where we are trying to uh, serve orders and stuff like that so again I can now interact and ask about this other API I have noticed. So here I'm going to say I noticed. So here I'm asking about the other API I have noticed. So here the AI responds to say that the pizza cone API is not suitable for the integration into a pizza ordering app. So the AI clearly identifies what I'm trying to do and it advised me against using this API. So I can just go ahead and query a bit more to ask. This. 
So here, let's see how the uh, response. So as you can see, it, it explains to me what sort of use cases I can achieve with the Pizza Cone API so that I can decide whether I'm going to interact with this API or not. So this is a simple example that I took to explain how our chat interface works and what is the use case it, it's there to achieve. So here, I would like to explain that this is much more useful in a uh, scenario where there's a bunch of APIs. So let's say there's 100 APIs running in a company and uh, it will be a hard time for someone to narrow down what's the API they are going to use. So that is the main use case we are trying to achieve here. So I would uh, recommend you to uh, try this out, uh, play around. So as I uh, mentioned before, you can just follow these steps mentioned. It's a simple setup process and give us feedback. So um, about uh, the feature and uh, what are the improvements we can do going forward. Okay, so to recap what we discussed in today's screencast, we discussed that effective API discovery can lead to faster, more secure and innovative application development. And also, AI-driven marketplace assistance can help in the future to revolutionize the API discovery space and maximize productivity by streamlining the API usage to boost innovation. Make sure to access our documentation and try out this feature and also our other AI features such as the API chat feature and give us feedback on what you think we can improve on. Stay tuned in the future because we are continuously developing this side of our product and we will be introducing new features and updates to the existing features and hope to see you in a future screencast. Thank you.